Good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It's dark. I'm in my car. It is 4.55 a.m. and I just actually pulled into boot camp for the day. It is almost 50 degrees this morning, which is fantastic. So I didn't even have to bundle up. I've been transitioning from winter wear to sweatshirts to long sleeve shirts and jackets to t-shirts to tank tops. Eventually we'll get to tank tops in the morning, but I'm excited that it's not super cold and I'm ready for today's workout. I have a really busy day today. I have a lot of macros to do. I have a couple of errands to do. Troy and I are going to clean the house. We have some really good recipes today. It's just going to be a really good day. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and I do upload five videos every single week. I will link nutrition coaching down below. Highly recommend calories and macros. As you know, that's how I lost 90 pounds last year and I'm almost at 140 pounds lost. I also have coaching as well. Links and discounts to everything I share with you today, my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. All of that is down in the description box. I did drink about half of my protein coffee this morning. I'll finish that up when I get home. So I'm going to grab my mat, my weights. Let's get our sweat on, get our workout done for the day. I'm starving, so I'm going to make some breakfast. I am going to fry up one of these Gilbert's Caprese chicken sausages. These are some of my all-time favorites. They're 130 calories with 13 grams of protein. They have cheese in them, sun-dried tomatoes, super, super good. I have a few chunks of pineapple left from this little container from Sprouts. I'm going to finish that up, and then I'm going to toast up one of these Thomas English muffins. These are the cinnamon plus protein. What's really cool about these is they have 140 calories, which is normal for an English muffin, but these have eight grams of protein and they say that they're cinnamon, but it's a very, very mild cinnamon. So I like to toast these up and then I add just about a teaspoon of real Kerrygold grass-fed butter to the English muffin. And that way I've got a healthy, slow digesting carb with some protein, some fruit, and then some sausage. So here is my breakfast. So I have my English muffin with one teaspoon of Kerrygold butter, my Gilbert sausage, my pineapple. This is all on my Uba Home plate. You guys know, you know how much I love Uba Home, it is pre-portioned plates, storage containers, bowls, small silverware, you name it, they have it. I love Uba Home, so I'll link them down below with 10% off for you. So this is going to be this morning's breakfast. It's time to clean my makeup brushes. I have so many dirty brushes. I'm running out of eyeshadow brushes because they're all dirty. I have face brushes to wash. I have a system where I have my favorite cleaner, which is the Cinema Secrets from Sephora. It's expensive, but it is the best brush cleaner and it dries instantly. So you can actually use your brushes right away when using that cleaner. Absolutely love it. The Sephora sale is coming up, so I'll link it down below. I pour a little bit in a bowl and then I use this towel to wipe all of the shadow and face products off of my brushes. So let's clean, I thought we could clean my brushes together and I have some updates for you as well. So like I said, I thought we could clean my makeup brushes together and then while I'm cleaning, I'll give you guys some updates on the dogs and then of course just some life updates as well. Things that are going on, things that are coming up. I always start with eye brushes first and then as I clean them I just put them back into the little container. So first let's talk dog updates. So as you may or may not know depending on how regularly you follow my channel about a week and a half ago we lost my lab diesel. He was having some medical issues so we ended up having to allow him to cross the rainbow bridge and that was literally the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. The most traumatic experience I've ever had in my entire life. We we still miss him. We think about him every single day. I still look for him, especially when I walk in the door from the gym or boot camp. He will always met me at the door, tail just a wagon hitting the door. So I always look for him still when I come home. So it's definitely been 
really hard on us. It's been a big adjustment to not have him here. We think we see him. We think we hear him. It's been a little rough on Troy because Diesel used to lay on our living room floor with Troy at night when he watched TV. And so Troy that said that that's been really weird, just not having Diesel laying there like he used to. It's definitely been a big adjustment for our family. All Lola and Palmer are doing really well. I thought that Lola was going to be really upset, more devastated than she is. I thought that she was really going to miss him and kind of mourn his loss as well, but she's doing really well. Now we know that dogs are stoic, so there's a possibility that she does miss him, but she's not sad or mopey or anything, which I'm grateful for. Just one less thing to deal with after the loss of Diesel. So she's doing really well. Palmer's Palmer. I mean, Palmer's just happy with the ball and Troy. I mean, that's all Palmer cares about. So he's done really well with the loss of Diesel. So it's just been, it's been a big adjustment for us. And speaking of Lola, as of the end of her fourth week of chemo, she's going into her sixth week. I take her tomorrow, sixth or seventh week. I think sixth week. At the end of her fourth week, she was in 100% full remission. So she is in remission fingers crossed that it stays that way. Typically what happens is after she finishes all of her chemo sessions, which is four weeks, which is four sets of four weeks. So it's basically like a five month process. Generally the dogs stay in remission throughout chemo, right? Because they're always receiving the chemo drugs. So the remission, so they stay in remission while they're going through chemo. And then it's just kind of a crapshoot when chemo ends, how long they stay in remission. I actually asked the vet tech at her oncologist's office this last week, what is the average amount of time after finishing the <clears throat> five or so months of chemo, do the dog stay in remission? And he said the average is a year, some dogs more, some dogs less. So. I can't handle anything else with dogs, especially with Lola. You guys know she's my best friend in the whole world. So I am just crossing all my fingers and my toes that she stays in remission a long time. She is handling chemo so well. She's literally like a little rock star. I mean, she's killing chemo. They love her at the oncologist's office. Actually, everybody loves Lola, but she's doing really well. She hasn't been getting sick at all. I've been giving her an anti-nausea medicine before I take her to chemo, and that's really helped her. She does get a bit anxious. She just does, she knows where we're going now. When we get off the freeway and we turn from the main road onto the road that leads to the oncologist, she knows and she starts shaking. And then we get to the oncologist's office, and she's happy because she gets a treat the minute that we walk in and then she goes behind the front desk and visits Jessica who's the front desk girl and then Jessica gives her a treat and then she usually comes and sits with me there's kind of a long bench and she'll come and sit with me but as soon as she sees Chelsea who's the vet tech she immediately tries to hide behind me and she loves Chelsea but she knows like she knows what's coming she's learned landmarks I mean dogs are so smart it just blows my mind how smart they are but overall, she's doing really, really well. I do have some anti-anxiety medicine, kind of like a sedative that I can give her. They would like me to give it to her for the fourth week. She The fourth week of the four-week session, so four times she'll get this treatment. It's the most intense chemo treatment, and they kind of have to poke and prod her a little bit more. And I guess last time she wasn't the best patient. She didn't like them poking and prodding her. So when she goes in for the fourth week, which is next week, I will go ahead and give her, I think, the sedative before we go, along with her anti-nausea pill. And that seems to really, really work in preventing her from getting sick from chemo. So she's doing really, really well. It's definitely very, very expensive. It works out to be a about $2,000 a month. So it's very pricey, but I mean, how do you put a price on number one, her quality of life and number two, having Lola around as long as possible because you know, she's my best friend. She's our baby. And I mean, truly our family can't go through losing another dog. It was, it, it, there's, 
it, we just can't. So it's been worth every single penny, especially because she is responding so well. A couple of other kind of life updates. I head out to New Orleans on April 19th, which is coming up here pretty soon for a conference. I am doing a mini meetup with my subscribers on the 20th of April. I posted all of the information for the little mini meetup in my Facebook group, but what I'll do is I'll put the information down in the description box. So if you're in the New Orleans area and you're interested in coming to the meetup, all the information will be in the description box for you. So I'll kind of be MIA a little bit. I'm going to be posting on Instagram and in my Facebook group. So make sure you follow me in both of those places. I'm not vlogging my trip, but I will be posting pictures and updates and things there. And then kind of the last little life update that I have is in regards to plastic surgery. So I've been getting a lot of questions about if I'm still going to Mexico for plastic surgery. 100% I am. I actually leave, I think on the 16th, yes, I leave on the 16th of May. My surgery is on the 17th of May. My really good friend, Amy, who I actually went to visit in New York, I'll pop a picture up here. She's having a 360 tummy tuck the same day that I'm having my surgery. You guys know I'm vlogging my entire plastic surgery experience. And Amy said, I'm more than welcome to vlog her experience as well. So you guys will get to see both my procedures as well as Amy's and how the recovery and everything goes. If you're looking into plastic surgery out of the country in Mexico, the vlog will be really helpful for you. And then just kind of taking you guys along with me throughout not only the surgery itself, but some of the recovery as well. So stay tuned for that. So that's really all I have for you guys. As far as life updates, I'm going to finish cleaning my brushes and then Troy and I are going to spend some time cleaning the house today as well. What do you need? What do you need? Why are you squawking at me? Huh? <gasps> Palmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Palmer. Oh, yes, you got a ball for seeing in the morning. So, as promised, we're going to make the new PB2 pantry apple cinnamon muffin. So I hauled these in a grocery haul a little bit ago, told you guys that I had made them and my boot camp group loved them. We're gonna make them here on my channel. We're gonna do like a second taste test of these. You can have two muffins for 210 calories. I usually just eat one muffin. I bought this at Kroger in the baking aisle. A few of you have said that you've seen it at your Walmart as well, but you're going to need the muffin mix, eggs, oil, which we're gonna substitute unsweetened applesauce and some water. So let's make some muffins. So we're going to start with half of the jar of the muffin mix. It says approximately one and a half cups or half the jar. You could also double the recipe if you wanted to, which actually, you know what? I think I am going to go ahead and double it. Let's do the whole jar. So it's going to make 18 muffins total by using the whole jar. And then we're going to need six eggs. And then a cup of applesauce. So I'm going to do two of these little packets. We'll give that a quick stir, get everything mixed together. Let's see, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And then we're going to scoop our muffins into our muffin pan. And again, we want 18 muffins total. So I decided that I'm going to do the other six muffins as Donuts. How fun is that? So I'm going to use my donut pan. So we got our donuts and our muffins. They're going into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. So the donuts are out of the oven. One is missing because I'm actually going to have it as a morning snack. It's about 10 o'clock. I was gonna eat a little something before I head out to run a few errands. So I have one of the donuts, we'll taste test that together. And then I have a Chobani Zero Sugar. This has seven grams of protein in it, which is amazing. And then of course the Chobani Zero Sugar is another 11 grams. So this is a really high protein snack and we're getting in some healthy carbs. Also, side note, the muffin mix works perfect as donuts. Okay, taste test, cheers. It has big chunks of apple in it, super tender, like a really good quality muffin, absolutely delicious. And for 100 calories, seven grams of protein, 
you can't beat it. The muffins are out as well. It smells so good in here. I am obsessed with this mix. It's so good. Highly, highly recommend. Oh, I don't know if you can see them, but these two, little sunbathers over here. Oh yeah, were you guys laying in the sun? Yeah, you guys love to come out in the morning, huh? So I thought I'd share with you a few type of memorial things that we did for Diesel, as well as some of the really sweet gifts that we've received from my followers, my subscribers, my friends, all of you. So first, let me show you what I did for my office. So first, I got this metal picture off of Walmart's photo website. It's on a piece of metal. It's really nice. You were able to customize the style of the design. So I did a picture of Diesel with his name and then I have a little wood, little wood platform that it sits in and then that sits right on my desk where I work every day. And then a lot of you were saying that you're going to miss Diesel being in the background of my videos. So he is officially forever going to be in the background. So he sits right here on this shelf that you can see in all of my videos. I just love this picture of him and it says cold nose warm heart super super cute so again that's right on that shelf that you see in the background also, my good friend Susan, thank you so much, Susan, and subscriber sent this to me. She had this made for diesel, so it's engraved in wood, and it says forever in our hearts, and then I put one of my favorite pictures of him on there, and it actually sits in our second living room or the room right off of our main entrance. And then Lap of Love, who came out and sent Diesel over the Rainbow Bridge, did a paw print for him. And this is seriously like the perfect paw print. She even put his name in there. It's been sitting out here on my plant stand for over a week now. I want it to be nice and dry. I actually flipped it over so that the backside would get dry as well because I ended up buying a shadow box off of Amazon. I haven't put it together yet only because I have one more picture of him on the way, but I'm going to put that paw print in here as well as a couple other things that I'll show you. I'll link this for you. Like I said, I got it off of Amazon. It's really nice and I want to say it was $25. This comes off and then it has the clear glass and it has the little closure as well on the side. And then of course I kept his collar, which I'm going to put in the shadow box. I kept his leash and then Lap of Love also gave us a lock of his fur, which I thought was really sweet. So I'm going to put that in the shadow box as well. So once I put that together, of course I'll show you guys in a video. And then we have just had an outpouring of love from friends and family. So my boot camp group actually sent me this beautiful, beautiful bouquet. And then my good friend Amy sent me this paper pop-up poppy bouquet, which I thought was really cool off of Amazon. You can keep it forever that way, which is amazing. So my good friend Lois sent me a really sweet card. She's one of my subscribers. There's a little poem in here about losing a pet and I just, I can't bring myself to read it yet. I'll get there, Lois. I'll get there. And then, and then I received a really beautiful card from my good friend Michelle. And then my mom, my mom sent me this sweet card with a lab on the front. And then my really good friend Melanie sent me this lovely card. And then lastly, this is so beautiful. I love the handmade design on this. And this is from my friend Michelle. Oh, this one's from my friend Michelle. I'm sorry. This one is from, this is from my subscriber, Julie. So we have, like I said, just gotten an outpouring of love for Diesel and it seriously warms our hearts. I also forgot to show you guys the necklace that I had made. So I had this super pretty necklace. It's really nice quality actually. And again, this is from Walmart from their photo area. And I just put a picture of Diesel on it. It was $19.99, it came with the chain. And like I said, it's really, really nice quality. Do you want a special bone? <gasps> Should we go get a special bone? Let's go do it. Say we deserve it. We deserve a special bone. Oh, your peanut butter smart bone. Good sit. Good sit. Can you see it, baby? 
<gasps> Good job, honey. Good girl, Lola. Time to run a few errands. So here's what's on our agenda for this morning. I just ordered a coffee at Dunkin'. I don't wanna go all the way to Dutch Brothers today because I actually need to make a stop at our local land landfill, our local dump, to dump off a bunch of boxes. We actually get to recycle boxes for free here because we don't have the option to have recycling at home. So we can recycle for free. So I'm gonna stop by there. After I grab my coffee at Dunkin', I need to get gas in my car. I've got less than a quarter tank and Lola goes to chemo tomorrow. So I want to make sure that my gas is filled up. That way she doesn't have to sit in the car in the warm because it's going to be in the eighties and it's just too hot for her to sit in the car. So I'm going to fill up with gas and then I need to go to the post office because I need to mail my taxes and I owe a lot, a lot. I mean, tens of thousands of dollars. So I need to go get my taxes mailed off and then I need to mail a packet of paperwork uh, for Troy to our attorney for social security disability. Uh, we got a whole bunch of additional information from his doctor that will help his claim. So I'm going to mail that off as well, plus a couple of other bills. And I think that's all that we have to do. I have some coaching calls, so I don't have time to really do much of anything else, nor do I really need to do anything else. So first stop, Duncan. So I got my coffee at Duncan and an extra cup of ice. There's actually a decent amount of ice in here. What I realize is when I order an iced coffee, I can request extra ice. When I order an iced Americano, I cannot. So I asked her for an extra cup full of ice and then I'll just add it to my coffee as I drink it. I just like my iced coffee icy and cold. So this is the this is sugar-free blueberry, sugar-free toasted almond. I love that combo together with two cream. So I'll go ahead and put points everything here on the screen for you. Next stop, dump. We do have to stop in at the front little kiosk and ask them to go right over there to the recycle. really weird. So I usually have to put premium gas in my car, but all of the pumps have these tags. Here, I'll show you guys. I'll flip you around and show you that say that they're out of mid-grade and premium gas. Isn't that weird? It says the Phoenix market is experiencing a temporary fuel supply shortage. Someone changed it to So for lunch today, I'm going to have a sandwich. I have been on a major, major sandwich kick. So I use one slice of this sprouted bread. This is from Imperfect Foods. I really, really like this bread. And then I do four slices of the Hillshire Farms natural turkey, a slice of reduced fat pepper jack cheese. Sometimes I do light mayo, but today I'm going to do avocado. I need to use up this avocado and then I'm going to have some blackberries, some cucumbers with a couple tablespoons of the fried pickle dip. So here is my lunch. This looks so good. So I have my sandwich. There is 45 grams of avocado. I have 55 grams of blackberries and then some cucumbers with two tablespoons of the pickle dip. Again, on my Uba home plate. Don't forget this is linked down below with 10% off for you. I'm about to get on a coaching call, so I'm going to have an afternoon snack. I have a little bag of the Uts X's and O's pretzels. These are so good. And then I'm going to have a cheese stick for some protein. Just refilled my water. So it's about three o'clock. I'm going to make some protein pudding for dessert tonight. I need it to have time in the fridge to set up. I do have a whole video on protein pudding. It's a staple for me. I will link that video down below, but it is so simple. You basically need a protein shake of your choice. So I'm going to do the Premier Protein Cookies and Cream. And then you'll need some sugar-free Jello pudding. Make sure you get the one that is 
You don't want to get the cook one or the cook and serve. You want to get the ready to go pudding and you're going to add two tablespoons of pudding mix in with the protein shake. Yeah, from the wind. Stupid wind. And then I take my little handheld frother and mix it in, put the lid on it and throw it in the refrigerator. And then when I eat it, I'll show you guys what toppings I use. I'll probably do maybe some whipped cream and either crushed up cookies or maybe some little chocolate chips or something. But I'll show you that once I go to have it for dessert. For dinner tonight, I am making a cheesy ground beef pasta skillet. I am super excited for this. We're going to try out a new to me pasta and we're going to get in lots of protein. So let me show you what's in the recipe. So I hauled this pasta in a grocery haul. I found this at Kroger. So it says pasta made with sweet potato. There's 13 grams of protein per two ounce serving. That is fantastic. So we're gonna test this out. I'm excited to see if it's any good. You'll need some minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. They're off of Amazon we love them. You'll also need some light mozzarella cheese, fresh parsley, an onion, 96 or 93% ground beef, tomato paste, and then the recipe calls for red pepper chili flakes, which I am omitting. So I have some water coming to a boil right here for the pasta into my caraway skillet. You guys know I am obsessed with my caraway pans. I'm going to add my pound of ground beef. And then I dice up half of that red onion, so I'm going to add that as well. Put in a scoop of minced garlic and allow the ground beef to brown. So I found this spinach, well I didn't find it, but I have this spinach in my refrigerator that needs to get used up. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the meat. This is an addition that I'm making to the pasta. This is a one pan dinner. So by putting this in and allowing it to kind of wilt down with the ground beef, it's just going to give us a little bit of leafy greens in our pasta dish. Then I'm going to add some salt and pepper, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. Go ahead and mix that all together. The pasta is just about done. We want the pasta to be al dente. I'm going to drain it and reserve a little bit of the pasta water to add to the skillet. So I drained my pasta, adding that to the skillet. I'm gonna give that just another quick mix before I add in half of a cup of the reserved pasta water. I will tell you this pasta looks just like regular pasta. Maybe has a tiny bit of an orange tint similar to a sweet potato. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in that half of a cup of reserved pasta sauce. And we're going to allow this to simmer for a few more minutes. We just want to make sure the pasta is cooked all the way through. I'm going to add in one cup of light shredded mozzarella. And I chopped up some parsley. I'm going to add about three quarters of it. Give that one last stir. Allow that cheese to get all melted in with the pasta. I will tell you this smells so good and I cannot wait to have this for dinner. I mean, look at how amazing this looks. Let me go ahead and get this plated up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. The recipe makes only six servings, so you're getting quite a large bowl of pasta. I can't wait to dig into this. I will again put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing the dogs, running some errands, all the good food that I ate. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe will be on my website. I will make sure that my website is linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.